The universe is incredibly beautiful and the opportunity to explore it is the greatest opportunity that anyone could have. And it's so important that we in Africa are participating in this exploration of the universe. Most of the data will not be public. It will only be accessible to scientists from the United States, Chile, and people who have bought into the project. We have bought in on behalf of a number of South Africans, which includes two people from UCT, uh, Lu Lucia Marchetti and David Buckley. They and their students will have access to all the data from Rubin and will be investigating everything from supernova explosions to the structure of distant galaxies. So there's plenty there to do. Almost every year there's always a new groundbreaking discovery, say, oh, we've been able to find this. For many years, people have been doing modeling and theories on maybe the kind of object that exists in the universe and the rest of them. And to be honest, we are limited by technology. And that is why I'm excited about the LSST, because the LSST is providing the technology that didn't exist in the past. So it's also going to give room to test for a lot of models and theories, or even a bit of objects that people have proposed could exist in our universe that we've not been able to see. And at the same time, we believe LSST is going to allow us to pick up some of these things, especially in the transient era where, you know, there are some things that just burst out there and then in a period of time, they just disappear. Rubin Observatory is going to take something like a thousand images every single night. Those images involve about 20 terabytes of raw data per night, and there are going to be roughly a few million alerts every night about things that have changed in the sky. They've either moved, or they've got brighter, or they've got fainter. And we're going to need to follow up on many of those. One astronomer or one group of astronomers can't do all that. In fact, you can't do everything from Earth. So we need to collaborate to get a picture of the universe and how it's evolving. And we can only do that by people who work with the Southern African Large Telescope, also working with people who work with Meerkat, also working with people in other countries who have access to X-ray, gamma-ray telescopes and putting all this information together. And of course, UCT is very much in the centre of, of international collaborations of all sorts. Uh, and the uh, people in the astronomy department have very good contacts with various astronomers in the United States and in Europe and in Australia who share the training of students and the investigation of particular scientific programs which just couldn't be done without international collaboration. It's exciting that uh, we are a world player in terms of this type of science and the LSST from that perspective you know is just adding that we are also part of global projects, well, things happening elsewhere. I think LSSD and our leadership and partnership with it, it uh, solidifies us as uh, African scientists, not just a, uh, a host facility. We are active scientific partners, you know, we are intellectual partners. I think that's a very good thing for us. It, it puts us out there, you know. The best thing about all of this is to combine all of that data. So really it's about putting everything together. I think that's that brings the best out of the science. <laughs>